Hey y'all, uh, Katie Cooper here, uh, senior product designer with Forge Studio. We are building a design system in public in partnership with WebPrints, um, a 3D printing community platform. Be sure to check them out on Twitter at WebPrints app. Um, yeah, so today I wanted to show off how I'm setting up typography in the Token Studio. Um, so uh, we're not really we don't uh, create typescales from scratch. We kind of have a, a base one we work with um, that we can make easy edits to. Um, so for example, we have this uh, base typescale here in Enter, and um, sometimes Enter is the font we want to use, and that makes it really easy to move forward um, because we've already got um, it set and good to go, but um, when we need to change it up, it's also very easy. So if we take a look at the um, plugin, we've got um, typography as a set. Um, these values are pulling from both semantic and global. Um, so global values are like line height and font size, and then semantic is like uh, font families and weight. So like if we look at um, inside of a token here, you can see I'm referencing um, base display. Um, Oh, and letter spacing a semantic token as well. So this means that all my display types are the same um, font family and weight and letter spacing. Um, there are different setups for if you need a um, more fine-tuned control at each size and display, um, but I have them sectioned off as display, headings, labels, and text. Um, so what's really awesome here, so if I go to my semantic set, I have uh, font families, font ways, letter spacing. Um, so what we want to do is update our display and headings to space grotesque. So instead of going into each one, each thing, and, and resetting it to space grotesque, what I can do here is um, just edit the font family so we want this and spelling is really important if it's not spelled correctly um, it won't work so I'm gonna save this and also the font weight spelling is extremely important so if the font spells it semi bold with no space then it needs to be spelled like that um, you know ideally you'd want to use numerical values um, to uh, align more with code um, you know, like 600, 700, 800, etc. Um, but um, since Figma won't recognize the weight, um, you have to use the exact spelling that matches in Figma. So that's why I have them written out up here, just to make sure I don't mess them up. Semi bold is usually the outlier. Um, okay, so I'm going to edit this display token. Um, we're going to do bold for our displays. So I'm going to save that, um, and then I'm going to apply the update to the page. Sometimes I'll just apply to selection. It's safe to have that as your default, and I think it is the default. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the page, since I know it won't take long. And just like that, our um, all of our display settings are correct. Um, we would do the headings the same way, so bold, um, headings. Space grotesque. Let's run another update. Boom. And so um, the specs are, I will admit, it, <laughs> pretty hard to read, um, but I'm using the um, documentation token here. So um, you can see um, it's displaying all of these values, and I'm using a token to do so. I'm using the um, raw value, I think, um, to display this here. Oh, just the value. So that way it's always up to date. Um, I did have it like looking really pretty where each thing was its own line, um, but when it updates, it doesn't, you can't really do it one by one at this point in time. And if, if you can somehow and you know how and you're listening to this, let me know. Um, but for now it looks kind of jumbled and, but at least it's accurate. Um, so yeah, that's how I have oops, um, typography set up. Um, I'm curious how other people have their typography set up using Token Studio. So 
Um, please share um, and let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.